Hey everybody, I just want to come on and say a few words to you. We got a lot of talk going around about this coronavirus, but is anybody talking about what God can do about the virus? We got videos coming in of panic, fear. And I'm not talking about the world. You expect the world to panic. I'm talking about the so-called children of God of fearing and panicking. If you have a video that has fear written all over it, please keep it to yourself. I don't want it over here. I believe in the power of prayer. I believe what the word said. And the word said, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors, not the world. We are more than conquerors. Nothing can come upon the world unless the Lord allow it. And God knew about this before it even happened. So while we are running around and scrimmaging and trying to get the last toilet paper and the last water bottle off the shelf, we have to remember God is still in control. He has the last say. God has the last say. Praise the Lord. I'm all about what God is saying. And if your video, I got it on my Facebook page, on my home page and on my story. If your video is not talking about what God can do, I'm not talking about informing the people. Informing and instigating is two or two different things. You know? If somebody comes to frighten you, they're instigating. If somebody comes to inform you, they're giving you information. They're two different things. God told us to be wise. He wants us to be wise. We should be watching the news. We should be keeping up with things. But I'm talking about panic. Come on, Christians. Where the soldiers, where the soldiers at? You are a soldier of the Lord. Well, it's now. It's time to show it. Where the generals? You on the front line and you're the first one to run. I'm not following your captain like that. No. You're supposed to be the captain of the host. Our captain, our Lord Jesus Christ, never ran from a battle. He is captain of the host. And he don't have wimpy soldiers. He doesn't need a wimpy soldier. So if you're not prepared to fight, that means you prepare for flight. I'm not on your team, so don't tag me. I'm standing up for God. I'm spreading what God said. What did God say about it? That's what I'm for. And he said, those who are not for me, those are against me. So you're really an agent of the enemy if you're spreading fear and panic. Hold on, soldiers. Hold on, Christians. This pandemic, it won't be here for, for long. But guess what? If we don't strap up, I fear something even worse is coming upon the land. This is beginning of sorrows. It's not to scare you, but if you scared at a little kindergartner threatening you in the middle of the dirt road, you better not go any further, because further down the road is that kindergartner's big brother. Strap up. Strap up and get ready. To fight. Don't talk fear. 
God wants you to be uh, full of courage. He said, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And he said, put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand. And having done all to stand, after you've done everything you can, he said, still stand. Get in the word. Get in the word, not in the world. And stay in the word. Be steadfast. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Knowing that your labor is not in vain. If it's in the law, not if it's for people. That's a whole different story for a whole nother time. But I just came to encourage the people of God. To hold your head up. Take a stand for God. And don't fall for all of these ploys of the enemy. All it is is a ploy. It's a ploy. A plot from the enemy's camp. Now you go run and hide. Don't call me to run with you. Because I'm standing up for God. I'm standing for God. And when he calls my name, I'm going to be found standing for him. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. You have my name. Don't tag me. Fear is of the devil. And I don't want anything to do with the devil. God bless you. Heaven smile on you.